How's it going, everyone? Welcome back to some Forza Horizon 3. Today, we are going to be building one of the cars from the new October car pack in Forza Horizon 3. I, I didn't know there was already going to be a car pack. I mean, it's been out for like two weeks, not even. Oh, yeah, two weeks, something, date, time, knowledge. And there's already a car pack, so I, I really did not expect it. But this is one of the coolest car packs I've seen yet. I don't think there's a single car in here that I dislike. The Vulcan's awesome. M2 Coupe, really cool. Place Interceptor, I've always wanted one of these. We're going to be building it. I'm not sure this episode, but sometime. GTA, GTA Spano. I've never even heard of this car. What the heck is it? An awesome old Jeep, a Lotus 340R, which is going to be an insane race car, and a Pagani Huayra BC. So the question is, which car do we build today? I'm really debating between the Vulcan and the Huayra. Vulcan, Huayra, Vulcan. Huayra. I think everyone's gonna be building the Vulcan, so I'm gonna be different, or try to be different, and build the Huayra. I really love Pagani. These things are amazing, and the sounds they make, it's like they're from the heavens above. Oh, look at that thing. Carbon fiber, red accents, beautiful. Look, oh my god. Look, it's so pretty. <laughs> these cars are so pretty. The only thing I don't like about these cars are their wheels. I think the wheels are a little tacky, but my god, that is gorgeous. Okay, uh, let's build it. As you can see, no body kit presets. That's what I expected. We wanted, we can make it all-wheel drive. We're not going to do that. We're going to keep it real wheel drive. Although, it would be much quicker all-wheel drive. First thing I'm going to do, get some wide tires. We can get 365s. Holy shit. That is the biggest tire I've ever heard of on Forza. That is amazing. 365s, look at that meat. We're gonna get grip, like that's not even half bad. And then 275s in front is pretty good. Now wheels, 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 wheels. Uh, lightness or coolness? I really like these if we're going for coolness, but it's not light. I'm gonna get a lot of shit for this because I always use these wheels. But psych, I'm not gonna use them, I'm gonna use these. Wed Sport SA70, same brand, but uh, different wheel. Those look good, and they're a little bit lighter. Or, actually no, they're the same weight, they just look better, in, in my opinion. You guys get so mad over my opinion sometime, like, calm down, it's just an opinion, you don't have to prove everything right. Oh wow, that actually looks really awesome. We're gonna throw that on there, because we're trying to make this thing a race car, so... Race car. Oh god, that... Actually, no, the, wing, the force wing doesn't look half bad either. I mean, I think it's not cool, but... It doesn't look half bad. Now, we're pretty much just going to pull a basic bitch move and fully upgrade the car. We just want to see how fast this thing can possibly get, especially power. I'm very interested in that. So, yeah, I'm just going to be fully upgrading everything, except no rally. We actually can't do much to the engine, but hopefully we can do a little bit. We can get uh, racing ignition, camshaft. Oh, yeah, we're still getting some power. Uh-huh. We're in X-Class. What? What? 14 horsepower and twin turbo is giving us 174, bringing us up to over a thousand horsepower. And that's it. This car is fully upgraded. Let's go ahead and check this out in our little basket. 58 grand, more horsepower, less weight, and we're in X class. So, that's awesome. Oh my god. Look at this thing. It's so insane. The front end is so aggressive. It's so sharp. Oh, whoa. It actually kind of sounds V8-ish. All right, we've got a thousand horsepower, so we got to be kind of careful. But we do have 365, so oh my god, no, we're still losing traction like that. Oh my god, yeah, this thing's quick. Uh, it's 200, 220. Oh, and it crashed into a Bentley. Okay. Whoa, look at the flaps, guys. <laughs> it's got active aerodynamics. That's pretty cool. Oh, even in the front, it's got active air on it. God damn, this thing is sick. And I'm drifting it. So surprisingly, I'm managing to drift it kind of well. I mean, not really, but... What about when I hit the brakes? Oh, yeah, those flaps do work. Even though we have 365s, so if I gun it in third, it spins like mad. Even in fourth a little bit. Oh, my God, yeah. I feel like it's just because the suspension is so tight that... It, it just spins. And I mean, look at the 0 to 60. 2.9 really is not that great, but uh, I'm gonna try to do a little bit of a drag tune real quick. Uh, real quick, like I said. And here we are at the airstrip. Let's go ahead. Oh my God, there was absolutely no reason for that. I'm just sitting here in my multi-million dollar car and you crash into me. Uh, classic Mercedes driver move right there, boys. But we're gonna test this thing. Uh, let's, let's warm up these tires a little bit. Oh yeah. It can do a burnout pretty easily, even though it's got 365s. It really does not feel like it's got 365s on here, but 
All right, tires are warm. No. Yeah, that was bad. Throttle control, boys. Throttle control. Well, let's see what kind of speeds we can get here. 200. 220. 30. And... Yeah, I couldn't get 250. I just flew. I'm a plane. I mean, it looks kind of like a fighter jet, so... Close enough, right? All right, so let's try this again. 3K launch. That was a little better. It still really wasn't that good. Come on. No. Two miles per hour more. That's all I needed. Oh, shoot. I flew again. <laughs> uh, I'm going to go the extra nine yards and put it uh, manual so I can kind of like slip the clutch a little bit, you know? The 3K. Oh, definitely better. Is it enough to get 250 miles per hour? Who knows? Ah, 248 again. Oh, shit. Somersault. Haha, <laughs> I landed it, though. No, it's 49! Ah, did I go back into the sky? It does fly quite well, though. I'm honestly gonna be honest here. Come on! 230! 355! 240! That's X. Got him. Huh. There we go, 250, thank, thank, thank God. Oh my God. Lots of air. Can we land it? Yes, we can. All right, and now we're gonna be doing a circuit race in our car. We're gonna be racing really the best of the best. All these cars are gonna be X-Class. And you know what, it's funny. I bet you with a thousand horsepower, I'm gonna be one of the people with the least amount of horsepower. I'm gonna go ahead and turn traction control off. I mean, on, on. Uh, this is just, it's one time that I think traction control is actually necessary. Let's see what happens, shall we? I feel like it's gonna be bad. Oh, God. Ah, oh, these cars are so fast. Oh, but I'm pulling so hard. Why? Oh, I forgot. It's because I weigh nothing. Yeah, that's right. This thing is gonna be a race car and a half. Braking is insane. Did I miss that checkpoint? I might have. Trash control light is like always on because. <laughs> I'm sure it's like always cutting power, but honestly, it's fine. Already in third place, Koenigsegg right behind me. Oh, around a freaking Aventador. Another Aventador, this one's wide though. Real wide. Not wide enough, I guess. Wow, that was easy, holy shit, this thing is good. It just, it handles so well. If you don't have traction control on, I don't know how you do it, but. With traction control. Oh yeah, and break. Oh my God, I don't guess, oh God, no, that's not good. Oh no, fuck me. It's okay, he still is not a drive, so they got it in the bag still. But um, okay, maybe it's just, it's probably I just stuck at driving, really. And the cross the line in first place. It was a really easy race, because I've got too many assists on, but I couldn't drive without assists either, so. 14 grand, uh, 8,000 credits, and, okay, a couple fans. Oh, oh, there is a challenger. This Lambo wants to go. He's gonna give me some of them good, good credits. Let me, let me lay some, please. Can you, just let me, there we go, yes. Alrighty, took first place as I'm driving along on the curb. How's the weather back there, little Ventador? I mean, you got a vent and you got a door. How's the traction? Oh, we have to go off-roading? That's not cool. But it's okay. It looks like this car is decent enough. Oh, no. Go straight, please. Please. All right. There we go. Got him. And it's 51 grand. There we go. That's the easiest way. Ooh. Come on. Come on. Horizon Edition car. Please. 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 First of <laughs> 70 grand's not off. All right. We are going to be doing one more race. This is a sprint race. Pretty much going to be the same thing. And let's do this. Around the outside. Oh yeah, these cars are fast. Ooh, tunnel. Oh yeah, sounds good. Oh, I'm going so fast, the entire screen is shaking. 
I'm already in third. Second. Uh oh. Oh, thank God that Koenig said was there to run into. Because it. I would have been going into the wall there. Instead, I went into the ass of the Koenig Seg. Somehow he didn't spin out. Don't know how that works, but. Speaking of ass of Koenig Seg, I'm on your ass, Mr. Koenig Seg. Uh, and I don't break. Oh. Neck and neck. He's got more power than me. But. Uh, but I'm not an AI, and I can do things like that. Looks like my brakes are a little better. Oh, a little understeer. This is actually a really fun course. Oh, traction control did not work there. Gotta catch up to this Koenig Seg. Come on. There we go. Oh, that was a good turn. I can't pull up in the straights, though. I just, I've got better brakes. That's it. Oh, if I use them right, though. Oh, God, there's so many. They're right behind me. But like I said, this is a really fun course. Oh. Last corner, maybe? No. Yes, yeah, the last straight away. Oh, that's not good. Don't let them pass. Oh, they broke for some reason. Oh, shit. Oh, no. Oh. Bailey did not hit the wall. Oh, yes. They all broke hard in that corner. Oh, thank the Lord. <laughs> uh, first place. There we go. That one I actually had to fight for, so that was fun. Let's see how this thing drifts in a parking lot. I think that's the last thing you use this car for, but let's try it. Oh, yeah. Too much oversteer. That was to be expected. Oh, my God. I mean, it can do donuts. That's not very hard, right? Controlled drifting, though, probably not the best. Although it still really isn't bad <laughs> for being mid-engine and just not a drift car. Oh. even a wall tap on a hypercar. So yeah, I mean, this thing is pretty freaking awesome. It's got lots of power, rear wheel drive, so it's a little bit hard to get grip in. If you actually want really good times, you probably want to use trash control or you have to be a good racer. These supercars aren't really my favorite in these games. Like, yeah, they're fun to mess around with, but I feel like they've got no characters. It's like a supercar with lots of power. I mean, they look cool, they sound cool, and they're fast, but it's missing the character. I don't know. And it's just a video game, so I shouldn't be bitching about that, but I am, so shut the fuck up. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. We'll have more videos on the uh, October car pack very soon. If you guys enjoyed the video, please make sure to like and subscribe if you are new. And welcome. If you are new, welcome. Welcome to the land of gingers. Make sure to check out my other forms of social media, Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat. Leave any suggestions or other comments in the comment section below. And I'll see you guys next time. Back, back, back Peace dead. out. Come on. Oh, it can't get good. All right. Uh, a little more speed. Oh, no. Oh, I stalled. Stalled. There we go. Up the hill. Up the rocks. Oh, oh. It's still solved. Okay.